Hi friends, today we're going to do a tarot reading for 2023. So one of the things that you have heard me talk about wanting to get into again or to be better about doing is getting back into my head witchery, my kitchen witchery, my witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. I'm a very eclectic kind of witch. But I have not been keeping up with things and I have lost a lot of my knowledge and my skill sets that I have when I was in my early 20s um, just because I kind of let things go. And so one of the things that I want to get back into is tarot. If that's too witchy woo woo for you, you're free to exit at any stage, left, right, center, whatever. But it's something that I want to do. And because I want to do that and I want to learn a little more, I thought I would do a reading for 2023. Now, to preface this, I will not be going through and actually like telling you what all of the cards mean and like what my year is supposed to look like per the cards. What I'm going to do is tell you about a spread that I found that I think is going to be interesting to do for the year and show you my layout of it and tell you where you can find it online so that if you like the idea of it, you can do it yourself as well. So the spread that I found, I found via a fellow member of Jessie Curran's Discord server and so their name is Echo and they are part of like the witch chat on there and they shared the spread that they do at the beginning of the year. It's from Tumblr. There's some like original uh, postings on there but like you can't actually go to the page of the person who originally posted it or at least I'm too old to remember how to operate Tumblr so that I can't do it uh, but I will be linking Echo's post down below so that you can check out the whole thing where it actually has like the whole spread, the numbers of where you lay everything out, what everything means. Uh, essentially it is a pool of 25 cards and I'm going to do a top down view, show you the cards that I pull and tell you what that set of cards is supposed to mean for the coming year. Again, not going to tell you what the cards themselves mean, but essentially walk you through what you can expect to see for yourself from this spread. It's early enough that you have like another week or so until the end of the month. So if you want to do this the last week of 2022 or the first week of 2023, it should be helpful for you just to kind of figure out how your year is going to go. Do I think that witchy woo woo is a real thing and that I, you know, I'm going to give myself all of these good things by, you know, reading these cards and my year is going to be exactly like they tell me they're going to be? No. Do I think that being positive about things, not toxic positivity, but just being positive, having a more upbeat feeling about things and trying to see the good in things is helpful. Yes. So it's a lot of like, I'm going to get controversial and just weigh onto a whole thing here. But essentially for me, witchcraft, a lot of the tarot and the energy that you put into what you're doing, manifesting things like that. It's the same as prayer in most like Catholic and Christian religions and other religions as well. It's kind of the same deal. Like you're like just putting it into the universe that you want a thing to happen and it may or it may not. So yeah, that's my wishy woo woo spiel for the day. Let's get you to the top down view. We can go through uh, these cards together. I will mention I am using my Hocus Pocus deck that I got um, when I was on vacation with the girls this year and I think we were I got those on Mackinac yeah I was on Mackinac Island and I got those uh you can get them like on Amazon other real retailers place like that it's literally just a hocus pocus deck I love the colors I love the things I'm not used to it yet it's a I haven't done tarot in forever and b I've only used it a couple of times so let's go to our top down view and we'll see you there Sweet and spice, throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. me. 
legitimately, you can't even see them all. Like, there's, there's more. Over there. Uh, so, let's just go through, like, my first thought is... There's a lot of electric in this corner. And, again, the parents, one after the other. Interesting choice. It's a choice. Uh, the lovers, upside down. Gotta love that. Also, two of my favorite cards, which are Justice and Temperance. Both make an appearance. Uh, I don't know why these two are sideways. The Devil and the Hierophant. Couldn't tell you. I mean, I know why they're sideways, because that's the way that the thing told me to put them. But I don't know why we're told to put them sideways, so... I just live here. Um, and up top, you can't see. There's It's potions heavy at the top corner. Actually, really potions heavy at the top corner. Interesting. This is a potion. One, two, three. Four potions in the top corner. Electric all over here. Potions all over here. There's a potion here, too. So there's like five potions on the board. Interesting. Oh, pumpkins here, too. Three pumpkins. Three lightnings. All right here. Interesting. Okay. Again, I'm not going to walk you through like everything and what I think it means because I feel like that's a extremely personal thing to do. I mean, if you want to look it up, you can. I mean, you're allowed. But I will kind of go through what the cards, what the card positions are supposed to mean. So, so this is the first 12 cards, which are these 12 here that you can see represent the 12 months and what influences will be coming into play during that month. Each card can represent a theme for that month, warn me of challenges ahead, or introduce a bit of fortune into my path. So the first part of my year is lightning pumpkin, lightning, lightning, pumpkin, pumpkin. Questionable. Questionable. And then some potions, and then the parents upside down. Uh, technically candles, king and queen of candles. Interesting. Temperance, transformation, and suspension. I don't know how I feel about this at the end of the year, but uh, like everything's going to be on fire and then we're going to be okay. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't, I haven't done a lot with this deck yet, so I don't really know a lot of the meanings of this deck. Um, but it is one of my favorites because I love the artwork and the vibes and the coloring and it makes me happy. So. Uh, that's why we picked this one. Um, so that's it. These 12 are the 12 months coming ahead. Uh, if you are newer to tarot and you wanted to do like just a basic end of the year like tarot layout, that would be good. Like a 12 month. You don't have to do the top half. I'm going to slide you out so you can see the top half. A little bit, maybe. Okay. So again, there's six more cards down here. You can't see, but they're here. It says cards 13, 14, and 15 represent what influences are being carried over from the previous year. That's these three here, 13, 14, and 15. Sometimes we hold on to the things we need to. Other times it's wise to let them go. These cards can help you make that decision. This is going to let me know if I need to hold on to last year's things or if I can let them go. I honestly have no indication based off of that. Okay, cards 16, 17, and 18, these guys, indicate what I'll be carrying over into the next year, what I will be taking out of this current year, and will be influencing the future beyond it. So these are what will be carried over from 2023 into 2024, and that is the Hermit, uh, Ten of Potions, and the Lovers, Upside Down. I love Lovers Reversed. That sounds like a fun time. Okay. Cards 19 and 20, which are here and here, represent what will be crossing me this year. As there are only two cards in these positions, they carry a lot of weight. They are the overarching challenges, situations, or influences that will be crossing my path for better or worse. Um, so the master, aka the devil, and the hierophant, which is like the... Pope, if memory serves me correctly. Again, I haven't done tarot 
or studied tarot in like 15 years. So, you know, I, I studied tarot in my early 20s and most of my level of reference has left me. So I'm down to like vague memories and uh, reading out of tarot deck guidebooks. And that's okay. Because I'm trying to get back into it and trying to get my skill set back together and there's no shame in that, trying to relearn your skills. Cards 21 through 24. These represent the themes of each season in bulk Beltane, Lamas, and Samhain, respectively, and what each quarter turn of the wheel will bring. All right. So the first half of the year is upside down and the second half of the year is right side up. That's interesting. I still have to decide if I'm going to read the master and the hierophant as upside down or right side up. So technically I was pulling cards this way. And when I set these down, I did this. So those would be right side up. Okay. So I'm going to consider these right side up. I had to think about that. Uh, card 25 is a keyword to carry with me throughout the year, advice or insight for the coming year. Uh, so that is Knight of Potions. Again, I don't know what the potions mean in this deck. So it could be really good. It could be really bad. So what I'm going to do is now that I a, have a reference point, if I get these mixed up, I have it on video so I can figure out where things are at. Um, but I will pull these and put them in order. And I will put this specific tarot reading into my yearly collections journal so that I have a list of everything. And then I'm going to go through and um, write out the meaning for everything and try to figure out what I think that means for my year ahead. Um, again, I don't feel that necessarily comfortable sharing that with the whole free world. But if you know enough about tarot, you can figure it out on your own or you could look up a book. I don't know. Um, but mostly this was to show you like the the layout itself the spread as it is called interesting that a tarot spread is called a spread and a bullet journal is also called a spread apparently everything I do is spreads and I don't know how I feel about that okay um so again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve these are your months 13 14 15 are your what you're bringing into 2023 16, 17, 18 are what you're taking out of 2023. 19 and 20 are what will be crossing you in the coming year. You can't see them, but they're up top. 21 through 24 are each season in the coming year. And 25 is a keyword to carry with you through the year. Okay, so that was my tarot reading for 2023. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this particular spread and I'll try to help you out the best I can. But again, I haven't done this in forever, so I don't know a lot. Again, that's okay. We all got to relearn things sometimes. We all got to up our games on things that we're interested in doing. It's part of why we're here. It's fine. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.